Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we are going to be decorating my tear trays. So this is what three of them look like right now. And I was honestly just taking things out of my totes and just throwing things around. And I kind of want to make sure that I always have enough to fill these tear trays, which I don't know why I always think that I don't because I always have plenty and then some. So these are not put together, obviously, but I kind of like to always just get a head start and figure out what I might do. I'm also using these cute little like fillers, these little corn, and that came from Hobby Lobby last year. So to jump in, we're gonna do my favorite tier tray and my oldest tier tray is this galvanized piece. This is from Hobby Lobby. And if they have these still, I'll link it down below in the description box. But I'm just using mostly old decor and some DIYs from last year. So this little truck came from Target a couple years ago and I think it was $5 from the dollar spot. And then this little mason jar and this one are from Dollar General this year. And I honestly just like finding some things that I can just fit in these tier trays instead of buying or I'd say buying, I meant making. Uh, instead of making, because I always feel that sometimes I like will make things that I really want to use for the tier trays and they are just too large. I feel like this is what it's been like all year. I'm just adding some of these like fillers, these balls and some smaller pumpkins and a, probably 99% of everything came from Dollar Tree, Dollar General or Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is just a little house that I made with a house from Dollar Tree and a leaf from Dollar Tree along with my Cricut. And then I made one of these apples last year and that is just from a cube, a wooden cube from a Dollar Tree. And then of course, we're just adding some fillers in. So the way I like to decorate my tier trays is full. So sometimes you can look at tier trays and you see them and they're kind of empty and they only put like three or four things on each tier. Well, I like to pack these full. And then usually the back sides of most of them, I just kind of throw in items that I probably know I'm not going to use, but I also don't want to pack them away because once I, I feel like once I get everything out, I want it all to go somewhere. If, if it's not going to go somewhere, it's probably going to go in the trash, which I don't want to throw away like galvanized pails and pumpkins and things like that. So I'll definitely find a spot. But I honestly, I don't have a rhyme or reason or how I do this. I like to add the big things first and then kind of work my way into the smaller items. And then if I do have leftover space, then I will just fill it with anything small that I can find. So that is where I use a lot of these like smaller corn fillers. I think these are absolutely adorable and I'm sure they have them again this year at Hobby Lobby, but I added a ton to all these tier trays and I didn't use them or add them until I was completely done with this video and then I found these little corns. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to use these. But this is what the first one looks like and I love this one. tier tray I actually picked up at a yard sale this past spring or summer and it was three dollars I decided to use these little faux books those are from Chocotour and I made those painted them put them all together and these small little pictures are from Dollar Tree and I just added rub on transfers to the top and of course we have some Dollar Tree pumpkins to go along with this tray this little it's fall y'all cup that came from Dollar General this year Dollar General last year Dollar General, if you guys have one of those stores in your area, you need to check it out. There's so many $1 items that will fit so cute into a tier tray. And then kind of just to top this tier tray off, I am just using all kinds of little fillers. We have one of those like wood block pumpkins and we have another one. And I'm kind of just trying to add some color and then you add some whites and you kind of just got to make sure that you don't overpower the color, overpower the white because... I really like the good old fashioned like fall colors. I don't like all the light colors. They are pretty, they're nice, but I always kind of go back to the bright oranges. So you, you definitely see some of that in my decor.
This tear tray is one of my favorites. It's actually in my kitchen and this is from Chocotour. They come or they don't come with, but you can purchase silkscreen transfers to customize these trays. It is so cute. I left mine white so I can decorate it all year long. And then now I'm just adding in a ton of DIYs that I made. The Farm Fresh, that Hello Autumn. Those are both little signs from Dollar Tree. And then I just did them up last year for fall. And of course, another one of those little mugs from Dollar General. And then that house in the back side, I made that using Chalk Couture. And these cute little ducks came from Tractor Supply this spring. I love ducks. We have had ducks for 10 years plus, and this spring we actually lost all of them. So hopefully in the future, we decide to go ahead and start our little duck family up again. But for now, we are just kind of taking it a little easy uh, with those little guys. We lost them all very suddenly, and we just don't want that to happen again to our family. So uh, anyways, so there's that with my little duck story. But anyways, they're the cutest little things. I also have the larger one too. And then I just added some filler to this because it's kind of a smaller tier tray. So you can't add a ton. And that little picture that's on the bottom, that larger one that's white came actually from a yard sale for only 10 cents, which is crazy to think. tray is also from a yard sale and it was also only three dollars which I really wanted to get some new trays kind of some smaller ones these like wood circular ones have always caught my eye at like Hobby Lobby and Michael's or maybe it's just Hobby Lobby but I've always wanted them but I didn't want to pay the price for them so three bucks at a yard sale is good enough for me now I'm just adding some items that I made one the fall market is from using a napkin and a sign from Dollar Tree uh, the bottom is a faux book set and that is made with Dollar Tree items as well. Uh, and I made that last year. And then of course we just got some more good old Dollar Tree and Dollar General items. Target for the win on those black houses. And I think they have those around Christmas time, I want to say. Maybe they have them for Halloween. I don't know. It's really been a while since I have been to Target, but I've had those for years. And then a tiny little greenery galvanized bucket that is from Dollar Tree, Dollar General for this little pumpkin. I think that was from last year. I don't know how I know where everything is from, but I really just don't shop in a ton of places. So I seem to not forget. And then of course, these like beaded garlands, these are new at Dollar Tree this year. And I had to pick up two of them specifically for tier trays. guys that is it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you are new to my channel i would love you consider sticking around and subscribing since it is september now i feel that it is okay to decorate for fall i think we all have the green light on that but that is it you guys i will see you in the next one bye